all the time in the rainforest, Mr. The Conductor? Not all the time, Mr. The Dawn, but quite often. I can't believe how dark it is here. And it was such a sunny day. There's a good reason why it's darker in here, Buddy and Shiny. The rainforest is an amazing environment. It has different layers, including the forest floor that we're walking on. And all the way at the top of the forest is a thick covering of tree branches. It's called a canopy. Canopy! That thick canopy of branches and leaves is the reason why it's so dark in the rainforest. It's like a tree roof, so hardly any sun shines through. And what do you think that means for all the animals living down here on the ground? I guess they're used to living where it's not very sunny. Exactly, Tiny. So many different species live in the rainforest. Birds, reptiles, butterflies. All of those animals eat plants, which love all that rainforest rain. Huh? I see some flowering plants right there, Gilbert. Ooh, good eye, Shiny. We're going to the big pond for a picnic. And it's a perfect sunny day for it. No clouds or rain to get in the way. Uh, really? I can't believe it. It started to rain. <laughs> okay, kids, hop on board. <laughs> all aboard! Mr. Lambiosaurus, all aboard. Sure does, Don. <laughs> Mr. Conductor, what do you know about clouds? Everything? Well, <laughs> not everything. Uh, that's why I like to explore, so I can learn more. And I do like clouds, Miss Tiny. Clouds form when air is heated by the sun. The hot air rises and cools, making water droplets that come together to form a cloud. So all the clouds we see are full of water? Yes, indeed, Don. Clouds are made of billions of tiny droplets of water or ice crystals that are so light they can float in the air. Oh, God! <sighs> so, then why do the clouds make rain? <laughs> Excellent question, Shiny. I agree. And the answer is simple. When a cloud becomes too heavy with so many drops of water, it has to release them. So it rains. But what always fascinated me about clouds were that there are different kinds. Voila! Don't they look different from each other? These are called cirrus clouds. They're thin, wispy clouds made mostly of ice. Next are the stratus clouds. They're usually grayish and large, covering the entire sky like a big fog. And these third clouds are called cumulus. They are the whitest and puffiest ones. Uh, I see those all the time. They really look like they're made of nothing. Actually, Mr. Lambiosaurus, cumulus clouds are definitely made of water. You see, they can turn into very dark thunderstorm clouds and produce a lot of rain. <laughs> okay, I get it. I was wrong about clouds. They are made of water or ice and rain does come from them. I just learned that right now too, Dad. What if we try and spot those different kinds of clouds in the sky today? What a great idea, buddy. We could make cloud spotting into a game. Yeah, today at the Big Pond. Those are three kinds of clouds. Okay, bring on the cloud show. There's some clouds. Good. Okay, compare it to your leaf drawing. Thin clouds, wispy. Oh, like the conductor said, those clouds are ours. Cirrus clouds. Good cloud spotting, Lily. Gotta say, that cloud doesn't look icy from here. I want to find my cloud next. Help me, Dad. You bet, kiddo. Okay, Stratus Cloud, where are you? Hey, is that one? No, no, sorry. <gasps> there! Here come my Stratus Clouds. Your gray clouds have pretty much taken over the sky. Hmm, I guess we won't see any puffy white cumulus clouds in this gray sky. I still see a little bit of Cirrus Clouds. Go Cirrus! They're white, they're puffy. They're cumulus clouds! I can't picture those cumulus clouds ever turning dark and becoming rain clouds. Yeah, they're so white and puffy. Oh no, is that thunder? Nope, 
it's my tummy making noises. I guess I'm a little hungry. Good friends, good eats, good weather. Was that thunder? It sure sounded like thunder. Oh, no! I see dark clouds. I don't like this. A minute ago, it was sunny. Maybe the conductor was right. You mean the conductor's toe claw was right. <laughs> Smells like rain is coming. I love rain. You do? I don't like it when it comes to thunder and lightning. Let's find somewhere safe and dry. <gasps> there, that cave. It looks dry and safe. Let's go. Special Dad's Day and all our fun. Why does there have to be rain? Oh, Annie, I understand how you feel, but actually, rain is a good thing. Every dinosaur, every pterosaur, every creature needs rain. And plants, trees, and flowers need rain, too. It helps things grow. And then we can eat. Even fish need rain. Right? Drink the rain, all you plants. Have a big drink. <laughs> yep. Still raining. Come on, Annie. The rain just makes it more fun. We'll always remember this dance day when we had to find a cave to hide in. You're right, buddy. We've never been in this cave before. I don't ever remember even seeing it. This is a Pteranodon team adventure. I guess that's right. But what about our picnic? We can eat our picnic here. It will be an adventure. Let's eat. Let's play a game. How about what dinosaur am I? I'm big and walk on four legs, and I plates on my back, dude. Morris Stegosaurus! <laughs> I have a hypothesis. This rainstorm is fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's Buddy. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> You'll never guess who I am. Oh, hoot. I like to get right up close and hoot at you. <laughs> oh, <hoot. laughs> <laughs> wow, who is that? Are you doing me? <laughs> well, I do hoot like that, so I guess it was me. <laughs> Pretty funny. Hoot. <laughs> I love watching the rain from safe in our cave. Well, it's all thanks to me for spotting this place to wait out the storm. Yeah, I could wait here forever. Sure, not like the cave's going anywhere. <gasps> hey, what's going on? Is the cave moving? The whole cave can't move, can it? Well, good questions. <laughs> but for now, let's just move with it. <laughs> um, kids, dads, what do you say we get out of here? A tail! Whoa, it's not a cave. It's a huge sauropod dinosaur! But you did keep us safe and dry. Thanks! Glad I could help out. I'm Alan Alamosaurus, by the way. Hi, Alan! Dinosaur Once upon a time, there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh, boy, my eggs are hatching! One by one, her kids popped.